Hello everyone. Today is Tuesday, September 25th. It's 4.12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can see my computer clock on my right, the date and time here. And on my left is the time and sales showing the E-mini S&P trading at 21, at 29.21 approximately at 4.12 p.m. Pretty good day for the auto trader today. Uh, the DAX again uh, showing its persistency and consistency. And today on the Superenco 14 tick with the higher goal of 3,500, which is uh, a pretty lofty goal. You have to have a pretty decent size account to be going for this kind of goal. But nevertheless, trading two contacts, trading two contracts, we had our back-to-back -back pattern, a short and then a rebounding long or a, a V bottom trade like this here. Super difficult to do in real time under manual trading, much less holding a trade this long for that much profit would be extremely difficult for, for ev even the best traders. But the auto trader handles these kinds of trades with no emotion and that's what automation brings to the table. Uh, so many times we get fooled by the market because of our emotions when money's on the line. Okay, the DAX on a 150 hike and ashy chart. The goal on this is 2550 and this uh, hit our goal and probably had some slippage down here. And this had some moderate amount of trades. If I uh, tighten up the equity graph here, it was generally up for the most part, kind of a little sideways action here, um, but over a period of time. In any case, it finally hit its goal uh, here uh, into the U.S. session. This chart has been uh, pretty consistent, always showing in our videos. Okay, next up is the crude oil on a Superenco 8 tick using our line break logic. So back-to-back uh, -back pattern here, and because we're using our line break logic, we did not get whipsawed by trades wanting to go in the other direction here. And this uh, did 1,000 for the day. Our goal on this is 1,000, so we hit our goal with zero slippage. Remember, 99%, if not all of the charts I show in our videos, are limit orders, so it requires a pullback to your price, which means no slippage. Anytime we have a profit target, that's a limit order. If we get, if we hit our daily goal, then we use a market order. And so, uh, slippage with the auto trader, uh, I meant to say slippage can be limited or eliminated if you use limit orders. Okay, next up is the DAX on a 34 Hike and Ashy chart. And just wanted to point out some excellent signals on the indicators here. And then scrolling back on the chart to our trades. There was just a couple of trades here, a small loser and a really nice winner here brought us to most of our goal here, about 1,200 and then a couple of hundred on this trade here. So I think the goal on this is 1,500 and we had a little bit of slippage with our market order when we hit our goal. Okay, next we have uh, crude oil and a Superenco 6 tick and this is using our line break logic and we probably hit our goal of a thousand and had some slippage. Okay, the DAX on a Superenco 8 tick. Uh, this has a $1,500 goal, but we actually I think this has a 750 goal. I put a really tight goal on this 750. So this hit its goal in a single trade here. There was a lot more to go. This is using a higher time frame filter, and this has been very consistent since I've been showing it. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a Superenco 6 tick had two trades back to back, a long and a short, and hit its goal of what looks to be a thousand with no slippage. Okay, the DAX on a Precision Renko 16 tick, 150% reversal, what looks to be like a very small trade here is actually 562, and there was only a single trade on this chart. The E-mini S&P on a Superenco 4 tick did 550 for the day. Looks like four winning trades in a row. And this is using our line break logic here. So very nice looking signals. And our goal on this one is 725. So 
uh, just shy of our goal. Okay, the Dow on a 1597 Heiken chart had a single trade here, good for 650 on just two contracts. And our higher time frame is a 60-minute uh, chart, actually, as you can see right here. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a Superenco 6 tick, not using line break logic, had a nice short trade here, good for 512.50. That's about 20 ticks per contract. The E-mini S&P on a Superenco 4 tick with a Superenco 6 as a higher time frame, had a winner and a loser, a very small loser here, just a couple of ticks, but did 412.50 for the day. There was a couple of other charts with minor gains. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.